Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain, and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven-day-a-week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 342 of our trek, and this week we begin a detailed series, which we originally introduced in January, called Your Life Plan Blueprint. We have synthesized this information into a 100-page PDF manual workbook, which contains all forms needed to create and maintain your personal life plan. On our wisdom track for the remainder of this month, we will walk through each page of your life plan blueprint so that by the end of the month, you will have your life plan in place and written down. This is our initial release of the manual workbook, and it is available for download at wisdom-track.com in the left-hand sidebar of any page. If you are listening on your smartphone, you can text the word life plan with no spaces to 44222 and your life plan blueprint will be delivered to you in an email. The manual workbook is free during the month of May, so I encourage you to become one of our early adopters so that all the updates will be available to you free also. Regardless of your age, life planning is a crucial practice that few people ever complete properly. That's why most people wander aimlessly through their life. This is not surprising though, because up until now, there has not been an easy to use tool to complete your life plan. I would encourage you to follow along in the workbook each day during our daily trek, as I will be going through each page of your life plan blueprint during the remainder of this month. By the end of 2016, it is our plan to complete a web mobile version of your life plan blueprint that you'll be able to complete and maintain online. Thank you for coming along with me on our trek each day as we go through your life plan blueprint during this month. If you would like to listen to any of the past episodes, please go to wisdom truckcom to listen to them and to read the daily journal. You can also subscribe to Wisdom Trek at iTunes, Spreaker, Stitcher, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, and Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. We are broadcasting from our studios at Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina. This month we are coming to a reflection point and at the end of May we will be completing our full year of our daily treks. So I need your assistance on how best to serve you. Please email me at guthrieadventurecg.com or leave me a comment at the bottom of today's journal page and let me know if you'd like me to continue Wisdom Trek at 7 days, 5 days, or 3 days per week. We do have a lot of other projects we like to work on, so I need your input on this. Also, let me know if you would like any changes to the format of the Daily Trek, and thank you so much in advance for your feedback. It is now time to get started on the fourth day of your Life Plan Blueprint Workbook, and today we will continue with Changing Your Thought Patterns. There are seven attributes that are needed when changing your thought patterns, and so far we've explored trust, thankfulness, truth, timing, and travail, which are located on pages three through seven of your life plan blueprint. Today we will continue with point number six, which is the role the tempter plays on our thought patterns. This attribute that we'll discuss today is located on pages eight and nine of the manual. Your life plan blueprint, changing your thought patterns. Today we want to look at the tempter. If you want your life to be transformed, you must recognize the attacks of the enemy on your mind. The tempter will attack your minds with thoughts of evil, accusations, rebellion, strife, defeat, unworthiness, lies, and hate. These unclean spirits wage a relentless war on your minds. You must recognize the suggestions of these evil spirits and resist them at once. When you fill your mind with the thoughts of God and refuse to entertain the thought presented by the tempter, your life will be transformed. You must allow the Holy Spirit to guide you in your prayers as you pray in the Spirit and continually feed on God's Word. So the first sub-point we want to look at is you must resist the tempter through your knowledge of God's Word. And we want to use Christ as our example. Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 through 10. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. For 40 days and 40 nights he fasted and he became very hungry. During that time the devil came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus said, No. The scriptures say, People do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple, and he said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. For the scriptures say, He will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Jesus responded, The scripture also says, You must not test the Lord your God. Next, the devil took him to a peak of a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. I will give it all to you, he said, if you will kneel down and worship me. Get out of here, Satan, Jesus told him, for the scriptures say, You must worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. 
So with this point, you need to fill your mind with God's word so you will have no room for Satan lies in your life. The next sub point is you must resist the tempter when he tries to get you to doubt God's word because his tools are discouragement, fear, and doubt. Matthew chapter 16 verses 21 through 23 says, From then on, Jesus began to tell his disciples plainly that it was necessary for him to go to Jerusalem and that he would suffer many terrible things at the hands of the elders, the leading priests, and the teachers of the religious law. He would be killed, and on the third day he would be raised from the dead. But Peter took him aside and began to reprimand him for saying such things. Heaven forbid it, Lord, he said. This will never happen to you. Jesus turned to Peter and said, Get away from me, Satan. You are a dangerous trap to me. You are seeing things merely from a human point of view, not from God's. The next sub point is, you must resist the tempter when he tries to weaken your faith. Luke chapter 22 verses 31 through 34. Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift each of you like wheat. For I have pleaded in prayer for you, Simon, that your faith should not fail. So when you have repented and turned to me again, strengthen your brothers. Peter said, Lord, I am ready to go to prison with you and even die with you. But Jesus said, Peter, let me tell you something. Before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even know me. So Satan's target is your mind, Satan's weapons are lies, and Satan's purpose is to make you ignorant of God's will. But your defense is the inspired word of God. So the last subpoint is you must resist the tempter by putting on all of God's armor. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. A final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so you'll be able to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of an unseen world, against mighty powers of the dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so that you'll be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. So after the battle, you will be standing firm. Stand your ground, put on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you'll be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on the helmet of salvation and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Today we have continued on our extended trail preparing our thoughts so that we can properly create our life plan. We covered the crucial role that the tempter plays in trying to sabotage us into negative and fatalistic thought patterns. We can have victory over this, and tomorrow we will explore the final thought pattern that is needed, which is to be teachable. We will also start the introduction portion of Creating Your Life Plan. So encourage your family and friends to join us, and then come along with us for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Now we'll finish our trek for today. Just as you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, we ask you to help us to grow Wisdom Trek by sharing it with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person as you meet with them and invite them to come along with us each day. The journal for today's trek is available at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.